So, we have seen the base on the plane of cell division, mass meristem, plate meristem and the drib meristem. Okay, so these are the three different types based on the plane of cell division. Now, moving on to the base or the plane of cell division, mass meristem. When you say mass, there are mass of people, there are mass of animals or there are uh, there is a mass of uh, strength in a particular region. What does it mean? It means huge number. So, here what happens a cell divides in all planes to produce mass of cells so the cell can divide into any plane it can divide in the uh, uh, clinical plane it can divide in the lateral plane it can divide in the horizontal it can divide in the vertical so it can divide in any plane and can produce a mass of cells so that is called as a mass meristem Next is the plate meristem. Now what is a plate meristem means? It, the cell divides anticlinically in two planes. This forms a plate to increase in the area. Okay. So this is referred to as what? Plate meristem. So the plate meristem is of two types. It can divide like this or it can divide it like this. It can be in the vertical position or it can be in the horizontal position also. Now what is a rib meristem? Rib meristem is a cell divides periclinically and to the axis of the plant body to form columns or rows of cells. Okay, so periclinially divides. So what do we mean by dividing periclinially is that it can divide and form columns or rows of cells. That is, if you have a cell, okay, for example, we consider this to be a cell. Yes, Okay, so we have this three dimensional structure. Now it can divide in this angle and it can form the rows of cells or it can divide in this angle and form columns of cells. You understand? So it can be divided in this angle. It can straight away divide this angle and it can form rows of cells together or it can divide in this particular angle and form columns of cells. This is referred to as what? Rib meristem. Okay. So be very clear with this. This is referred to as what? Rib meristem. So here what do we find the difference between the plate meristem and the rib meristem? So in the plate meristem, it totally divides into two. Okay. So here what happens? It divides into half and half. Okay, so here the cell divides into two and here what happens in between the cell it forms a column and then it starts to divide. So that is referred to as the rib meristem. So it divides what? Periclinially. Okay, yes. Now moving on to the next classification that is based on the... Um, Types of meristems. So we have the primary meristems and the secondary meristem. What is a primary meristem? The meristems that are derived from the embryonic tissues. So meristems that are derived directly from the embryonic tissues, you refer to as primary meristems, the first formed meristematic cells. They are responsible for the primary growth. What does this primary growth mean? Formation of the radical formation of the plumule so this is referred to as what primary growth okay now they are isodimetric cells and they occur in the apical region that is in the apex region so primary meristems they are derived directly from the embryonic tissues they are responsible for primary growth that is growth of the radical and plumule and they are isodimetric in origin so they are found to be isodimetric and they are found to be in the apical region now moving on to the secondary meristems meristems that are derived from the permanent tissues from the permanent tissues are referred to as what secondary meristem now we have learned already that permanent tissues are actually derived from meristematic tissues and from this you have the formation of secondary meristem the permanent tissues are formed from the meristematic tissues which meristematic tissues primary meristematic tissues now this differentiates and forms the secondary meristems okay that is referred to as secondary meristem. They are elongated, responsible for the secondary growth. 
clear so these are responsible for secondary growth and this is responsible for primary growth so goes the name primary meristems and the secondary meristems clear children